Hi, we're The Foolish Couple. I'm Andrew. And I am Mina. And we're functional nutrition specialists and lifestyle coaches. We created Focal Academy to help people achieve whole life success by applying the success principles to the three areas of life that money can't buy, which is your health, time, and love, your relationships. We started releasing our Boost Your Immunity blog series in response to the coronavirus. So what do we think are important for boosting your immune system? First thing is to know your numbers. We start off by talking about metabolic efficiency and how it's so important to track your health numbers and what your optimal numbers should look like. In the second episode, we talked about fear. You're probably aware of how fear can heighten your stress level, but fear can also lower your immune system. To help you face your fears, we include an exercise in episode two that may help you release those fears. In the third episode, we talked about what we should be stocking our food shelves with to buy fresh and whole fruits and vegetables, to shop the colors of the rainbow, and to eat less of the processed dull white and brown stuff, you know, all that boring stuff with no color. We included a downloadable PDF for you for what to shop for. In the last episode, we talked about how over sanitizing your home may actually cause more problems with your health. Well, today we're going to talk about the importance of exercise when you're 50 and over. And that's us. That's us. If there's one thing that Shelter in Place has taught us, it is that we need to move. Being stuck inside a home is hard. We want to go out, we want to get some sun, we want to move around, and mobility is even more important if you are, like us, over 50. Recently, a study published by the CDC Mobil Mobility and Mortality Weekly Report, it's reported that about 90% of patients with COVID-19 that were hospitalized had one or more pre-existing conditions. The more common was hypertension, which is 49.7%, Obesity, 48.3%, chronic lung disease, 34.6%, diabetes, 28.3%, and cardiovascular disease, 27.8%. There were more men than women at 54%. So maybe you don't have any pre existing conditions, but if you're over 50, like us, then age also puts you at a high risk. 74.5% was over 50 with the highest rate for those over 65 years old. Those are pretty scary statistics because I have a lot of friends in our age group. You know, parents? Our parents, you know, our grandparents, maybe not our grandparents, but you know, some of us grandparents. Anyways, most of us have been stuck at home for over a month now and I'm sure that has disrupted a lot of our daily rituals, especially our physical activity. Since the shelter in place, we have been encouraged to stay at home and only go out for essential services such as grocery shopping, getting prescriptions, your gas, or going to the bank. Getting exercise was not one of the essential services and it should be. Now you mentioned that our daily rituals are disrupted and that actually includes a lot of the daily physical activities that we normally do. Before shelter in place, there is so much physical activity that we take for granted. Like the daily walks around the parks, walking to take the public transit, walking from work to parking lot, taking stairs at work. This is not included in all the exercises that most people already do through the week, like going to the gym, taking hit classes, yoga classes, swimming, and all sorts of sports activities. You no longer have drop-in basketball games, tennis, or bowling. <laughs> now, studies have shown that reduced physical activity can affect our health, especially older people and those with chronic conditions. Physical inactivity has been linked with obesity, coronary heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and cancers. This list sounds familiar, right? It should be because these are the major underlying conditions that people who died over 50 had. Physical inactivity could be worse for some people, especially for those older, because it comes down to cardiorespiratory fitness. Cardiorespiratory fitness is the ability of your heart and your lungs to supply oxygen to all your muscles during physical activity. When you're younger, your cardiorespiratory fitness or your cardio is strong but it normally declines with age. 
That's why you see some kids that seem to be able to run around everywhere forever and forever and never stop. And you see some seniors that just have problems. <sighs> just catching their breath when they're trying to walk a little faster or up the stairs, right? Cardiorespiratory fitness has shown to improve insulin sensitivity, your cholesterol, your body shape, blood pressure, and inflammation. Now, as we age, we tend to be less active and this in turn lowers our cardiorespiratory fitness. Now, with our daily rituals interrupted, we're moving a lot less. No more walks to work, playing sports with friends, or going to the gym. And for the older population, this is even more pronounced. If you're more tech savvy, there are a lot of online exercises apps out there that you can download to your phone, tablet, or computer. And be like a drone and just follow and see what you, you know, follow and do what you see on the screen, right? But for some of us who are a little older, you know, like us, we're used to connections with people and doing activities with friends together. We like to go on hikes, play sports such as golf, bowling, tennis, badminton together. We don't just see it as exercise. The socializing part of it is just as important to us as the exercise. I do notice that when I try to work out alone at home, it is harder to stay motivated. When an exercise is too hard or too boring, I just stop doing it. I go out, go walk around, drink some water, or just take a break and go play with my cat. No one's watching me, so it's really hard for me to stay accountable for myself. I'm the same. I hate working out alone, even though I know exactly what I need to do each day. It's just so hard being accountable to yourself, right? It's so much more fun doing activities with friends such as hiking, tennis, and my favorite badminton. It's that social connection that makes us feel, may feel like it's less of an exercise and more of a social event for me that keeps me more accountable and makes me more competitive to do better, right? It's just not the same as watching some stranger yell at me to go, 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 go on the phone or TV and just to work harder or to go faster. It just, just doesn't work for me. So, <laughs> from now until May 15th, we are offering our concierge of online personal training to you for free. The difference with this training is that you don't do this alone. You grab a group of your friends or family and you train together online. This keeps you socially connected while keeping each other accountable to work out. But if you want personal one-on-one -on -one training, we, we will offer that too. And doing exercise live with a trainer does help keep you accountable and keep pushing you harder. The concierge online personal training will give you a fun environment to exercise and hang out with your friends at the same time. You can see each other working out and maybe even get a little friendly competition going. That's right, competition's great, especially among friends, right? Well, I hope you take this opportunity to boost your cardiorespiratory fitness by grabbing a few friends and working out together with me. I would love to get to know each of you better and looking forward to seeing each and every one of you in our Conscious Workout session soon. Click the link to book your free sessions now. If you missed any of our first three episodes, make sure you watch them and get our free gifts. Download our free metabolic efficiency list and also learn more about our digestive health, which is so important to your immune system in our free Gut Matters ebook and how chronic inflammation in your cells can cause you to be immunocompromised in a free webinar in the links provided. In the next episode, we're going to talk about vitamin D deficiency and what problems that can cause, especially with your immune system. Till next time, love what you live and live what you love.